guys and welcome to Homes TV and I am uh, Omar Munase and this channel is dedicated for sports no, and a healthy lifestyle so now I'm going to discuss to you about virtual running so ito po ngayon yung nauuso lalo na may pandemic po ngayon so virtual running is actually a good way to promote healthy lifestyle and uh, exercise no? uh, so maraming nagtatanong what is virtual running so Actually, virtual running, it works no? exactly the same way as any other types of running. But the difference is that the, the race that you join is that you can do this at any place, at any time that you want. But the thing is, with, the, with, the, with regards to the date, uh, the admins or the program uh, organizers, they set an intended date. No? Matapos mo itong... Uh, uh, event na to. Like for example, the first event that I've joined, uh, I've joined this virtual run way back in 2009, 2019, uh, it was Heritage Run. So the run duration was the whole month of uh, July. So for the whole month of July, it's either 30 days or 31 days, you must complete uh, at an assigned or designated distance, no? depending on what you mo. So before, it was my first time, so I started with only 50 kilometers and actually this is good because I am an OFW, I am sea based so matagal na pong hindi ako nakakasali ng mga marathons, ng mga sport events and I'm happy that uh, this uh, event, this kind of uh, virtual event was uh, in made no? kasi nga even though na hindi, hindi ka malayo ka na sa ibang bansa ka and makakasali ka pa rin and the thing is, um, maingan yung ka, maencourage ka in running. So, in terms of virtual run, you are given a, an intended date na matapos mo yung pinili mong distance. So, nagbabari kong distance. So, sa first ko na virtual run, I only chose 50 kilometers. So, within 30 days, you have to finish this uh, 50 kilometers na pinili mong distance. So, on how to submit the runs. Guys, uh, next question is how does virtual running work? So, with a virtual run, the participants or the runners, at first, no, in uh, registration, you have to select a specific distance. So, organizers po niyan, yung magsiset kung ilan, it's either, marami po yung choices, it's either four different uh, distances, no? Depende kung ano yung makakaya mo, matatapos mo within a month. So, you sign up, you select a distance, and you pay the registration fee and uh, this fee varies depends on what package na pinili mo so there are options na ganito yung t-shirt and option B is ganito naman yung style ng t-shirt or you can uh, if you or if you have the money you can choose uh, package letter C or number 3 package na which consists of both t-shirts with a uh, medal included so kasama na po yung shipping fee dito so, the advantage of joining this virtual race is you will not be exposed to other people, no? And you can run at your own pace, you can choose whatever distance you like, and you have one month to complete this. And that is the advantage of virtual runs. So, next is, um, how do we submit the virtual run result? So, in submitting virtual re uh, run results, there are different apps po na makikita natin in submitting the virtual runs. So, there is the Strava, and there is Nike, and also on our uh, smartwatches. Because the important thing, uh, when it comes to submitting the runs, so this is a proof, no? a record, na tinapos mo yung specific distance na yun at an intended date. So, with the virtual run that I'm joining now, which is the Spartan virtual run, uh, the three Ds are required, the distance, the date, and the duration. So, these three Ds are important na makikita dapat yun sa Strava, sa ano natin sa running app. So, for me, I recommend using Strava because it, when it comes to Strava, dito po nakikita lahat and uh, your pacing is there, the duration is there, the date is there. So, lahat po naman distance. So, for me, I am using Strava with all of my runs. I use Strava. So, some events, virtual runs, they also accept treadmill. 
So, lalo na kung hindi naman malapad yung lugar nyo. And like for example sa akin, I am sea-based. So, before I submitted the runs no, sa treadmill, kasi hindi naman malolocate ng GPS yon when I am at sea na sa dagat. So, wala kong uh, hindi ma-determine yung position ko doon. And I would be constantly, it's like I, I'm cheating no, I'm running at, uh, on top of the water and uh, at a fast speed, uh, fast speed po. So, the thing is, some events are uh, accepting treadmills because distance and time is there but now if you if it is available better choose other apps now and then complete on having 3ds na to. so once again guys i'm just going to share to you the running app na ginagamit ko po no so makikita niyo po dito focus ko lang itong strava so in using strava actually hindi mo naman po kailangan na naka-on yung data mo the important thing is your location so you'll be able to save the battery so here in the Strava, makikita niyo po no, yung distance and the time and actually the date kung kailan niyo pinumpit. But makikita niyo po dyan, may icon po tayo. Ayan, makikita niyo po that this is my biking record no. Uh, because I actually, I am a dual athlete. So I am doing intervals when it comes to biking and jogging. So hindi ko pa natatapos yung current virtual run na sinasalihan ko ngayon. So, when it comes to this, just press the plus button, record activity. So, once you record the activity, so makikita nyo po dyan, oh. So, it's acquiring your position. You can choose here. So, it's either your ride or your run. So, for example, let's choose run. So, when, yan. So, just press start. Yan po. So, nandito po yung time and nandito po yung average uh, pacing nyo po split yan so here is also the distance recorded so makikita nyo man dito yan, it's our google map makikita lang po, na, po natin dyan so once you finish like for example that you just press this stop button so makikita po natin yung time distance and average pace so hindi naman tayo umalis sa position natin so there's no distance and the time is there so, all you have to do is finish and then just submit here the run and then save. So, in submitting, so guys, I'm going to share to you on how to register po sa ating virtual runs. So, what I have said earlier, makikita po natin, there are three different packages usually, no, when it comes to virtual run. So now, so nakasali po ako dito ngayon sa Spartan 4 Challenge by Virtual Race PH, no? So, first, you must go to their website. So, ito pong website dito is Virtual Race PH. So, makikita po natin dito, three different packages sa Spartan 4. So, ang kagandahan dito is you have to choose four distances and you can complete it uh, within a month. So, walang pressure po, no? Kahit gano'n po tayo kabagal, kahit gano'n tayo kabilis, there's no pressure. Kahit lakarin mo po, walang problema. Ang importante is matapos mo yung virtual run mo uh, within a month. So, there are four different distances. Nakalimutan ko lang yung specific, but I think it's 30 kilometers, 60, 165, and 300. So, for me, I chose the uh, 165 uh, distance no within a month. So... I'm just keeping a slow pace actually. Importante matapos. So, there are three different packages. So, makikita po natin dito, yung pinakamababa is premium, which is 950. You have one, it includes, of course, the medal, and this silk screen lightweight technical shirt. So, ito po yung dilaw. And the next is, next level is deluxe. So, of course, it includes the medal, and also the full sublimation personal, personalized shirt so ito po yun and the next is uh, the VIP so the VIP includes both shirts and of course the medal and kagandahan po dito is free shipping na po kasama na po yung shipping dito uh, basta nandito ka lang sa Pinas so ito po yung mapipili natin package but for me usually if nagagandahan ako and for me I really like the both of the designs so I, kahit mahal na no I chose the VIP kasi dalawa na po yung t-shirts and I have the medal. So for me, this virtual run is actually a, a very good uh, idea, no? especially na I am an OFW, C-based. 
hindi na ako nakakasali ng mga marathons, ng mga sporting events but this gave way uh, sa ating mga mga malalayo no? uh, na makasali sa mga events na to especially ngayon na may pandemic na hindi natin, ma, di natin kaya pa mag-hold ng mga racing events kasi bawal pa nga dahil may pandemic tayo ngayon so I started with my first virtual run in Heritage no? virtual, Heritage Virtual Run so I started only with 50 kilometers so ang kagandahan po nito is I registered and in-address ko lang po yung shipping address nito sa opisina so ito po yun, dumating po sa barko dinala po ng, ng kasamahan ko So, yan po na makikita natin. Yan. So, I'm very happy. I was back there on the ship. It was back in China. Yan. Ito po yung medal na nakuha ko. Yan po yung kagandahan. So, I was able to complete the 50 kilometers in 2 weeks. And, mabuti po, nandun kami sa China. So, I had time to finish it. So, yan po makikita natin yung t-shirt. And also, the Apollo shirt. So, again, I took the biggest package no because I, it is uh, worth it especially when investing this kind of stuff because you know you can use this especially when you're jogging and lana sa pag workout no po. so that's it next question is paano po mga register dito sa virtual race natin so for example i have joined this uh, spartan spartan run uh, I go to the designated website. So for now, the designated website is Virtual Race PH. So makikita naman po natin dyan. First is you have to make an account. And once you made an account, you can log in. No? And before going there, of course, you have to pay the registration fee. So the registration fee will uh, depend on what package you chose. So you need, uh, before you register, it's better na magbayad po tayo kalagay naman po sa website or sa Facebook page nila kung paano po tayo magbayad it's either by remittance center by bank accounts, by GCash so marami pong ways at makikita naman po natin dyan naka-detailed naman po kung paano natin sila mababayaran and the thing is once you uh, pay the amount so make a proof either take a picture, screenshot or anything to submit a proof na nagbayad po kayo so once you go to the website, of course you chose the run na, na gusto mo. So guys, makikita naman po natin, we are already here sa Virtual Race PH na no website. So here are the specific distances, no? 30, 60, 165, and 300. So the thing is, once a, and you want to register, first is you have to create an account. But of course, meron na po akong account. I go to my account. I click my account here. And ito po yung lalabas. So, it's either you register for a new account if you're new to the page or log in. So, you log in here. So once nakalagin na po kayo sa inyong account, you can choose the three different packages, no? So makikita niyo pa naman diyan. So for example, you choose Deluxe, register now. So yan po, makikita naman po natin dito. Yan, makikita, makakapili po kayo ng distance 30, 60, 165 or 300. And then you go for example 60 and then you go for register so yan po makikita naman po natin is yung mode of payment no ang dami pong uh, options dito so once you chose an option you can upload here the file the proof of your payment so yan po dito na po is the other address billing details and then you can everything will be there no so you'll just have to uh, place your order so nandito po yung order natin so ito po so just place your order so guys next question would be is how do i submit my runs so you go to the ver to the website you go to your account you go to my account and then here makikita po natin yan 
dito po sa activity records so pipindutin po natin yung activity records so makikita nyo naman po dito once you press the activity records so currently I am registered to Spartan Challenge 4 VIP so I chose the 165 distance only so if you pan here at the right makikita po natin dito is my line na submit record so press submit record so nan so, in submitting the record, so makikita po natin, out of 165 kilometers, ang natapos ko pa lang po is 80%. So, that is a total of around 134 pa lang po kilometers. So, when submitting, is first, you press this, no? Upload activity. So, once you upload, makikita po natin dyan, is dito, no? Is yung activity date is in distance you have to enter this manually duration and then choose a file so piliin nyo po no yung file proof like for example sa Strava nyo sa smartwatches nyo sa treadmill nyo or sa any running app na to show na tinakbo nyo po yun so here if you have any remarks here at the downside and here you declare that it is truthful and once that is you can upload the run so, yan po yung mga steps natin. So, makikita naman po natin dito. My last run was, ano no, uh, here, makita po natin. Nag-load po po siya. So, yan kanina, as I have said, na may icon. So, ito pong icon na to is stockbo no. So, I have uh, run this, uh, So, makikita po natin dyan. Ito po yung screenshot na sinabit ko. So, this is the distance. This is the moving time. So, makikita nyo naman pong pacing kung mabagal lang siya. So, as I have said, wala pong mabilisan dito, mabagal dito. Ay, importante po matatapos mo siya within, within the month. So, wala pong hassle. So, napopromote pa po yung health, healthy lifestyle. You're safe because you can run anywhere, anytime that you want and you can go to kung may malapad yung bahay nyo sa bundok, anywhere as long as may signal po no? marirecord natin ang distance, time and of course the date ito po yung date dito sa taas so that's it so hello guys once again and thank you for watching the video I hope na may nakuha po kayo especially on uh, explaining what is virtual running and how to register and how it works for this channel is to promote healthy lifestyle, no? I hope na minakuha po kayo. I hope na sasali po kayo sa virtual runs because this virtual run is uh, is a good way, no? Especially in adapting to the new normal. Lalo na ngayon we are not allowed to do mass gatherings and especially you still want to maintain the good physique of yours. And this virtual running is one way to do it. Especially this both rewarding um, mentally because you are able to exercise physically and also it's rewarding especially to the eyes so makikita ninyo po you'll get the medals you'll get a good physique and that you'll maintain a healthy body boost up your immune system especially na may pandemic ngayon I hope you always run safe and please subscribe to this channel OMS TV and please support this channel like, subscribe and share the video and thank you God bless guys bye bye so guys, uh, before I forget with regards to receiving your entitlements, so entitlements, this includes your medal and the t-shirts that you have ordered, you will receive this one uh, once you have completed uh, the distance, your target, and of course once the event ends. So by the end of month, the race uh, organizer or the admin will inform you with regards to when will the shipping start. Because there are many factors, no? especially ngayon na may mga delays sa shipping. So just be patient. And for sure, once you receive your entitlements, it will be worth it. So run safe mga kapaa. Thank you. God bless.